Can somebody uh golem the flow? Pike pin kebab. One. Zero. Uh, good like a fun. Okay. Can somebody in chat tell me how come they always uh, have those spells in early? Is it the format? Yes! In the dual format, which is the one hero format, uh, we get these... Uh, we started off in a bunker, which has these three spells consistently, always, at the beginning of the game. I don't even know what he is, I'll just keep. <laughs> Actually, Marius, though. A little bit scary. I will not make myself slow yet, I'll just collect some gold. Oh my god, he keeps, what a legend. Yo, what a legend. Jesus. Renny Gigachad. Taking a loss for my content. Hmm. <laughs> then this is my opponent's biome. We have on that side. Uh, Stronghold Middle. My biome. Amazing information. Thank you for that. Um, Fortress side. And this is the bunker. Okay. I think I do want this ore, and then yeah, I'm just collecting these three scrolls and getting out of here. Um, that is that is all. That's good. Mm hmm. I did get the pure freeze. Then yeah, here, here. Um, and I'm out on the floor with okay resources. Not amazing. Hmm. I do want this Coliseum. I still don't really need knowledge. Well, speaking of needing knowledge. I... Do I try for my... No. I think I just hit the site down for now. Uh, next time I will have the D to get into my main as well. Earth Magician is good. Yeah, next time I just DD forward and day 6 I get 3 towns with decent knowledge already and a decent skill tree. Not bad. Uh, pretty good in fact. Mm hmm. He's out of the bunker only now. Pretty late. Uh, many with monarchs in this biome. Oh, scouting already. Damn, look at that. Yo. Hell yeah. Um, okay. So, so far we're having a pretty good game. My cat is so cute, by the way. Oh my god. Uh, I didn't even see him. Interesting. I'll make myself the strongest I can be. Put the stocks over here, and yeah, we'll actually go for the Vivian fight immediately. I think it's, um, those are not too hard. They're fine. Ooh. Um, that mold is uh, a little bit sad, but, um, I'll be fine. Nice. Oh, Greitons. And you guess it, even more Wyverns are gonna be dealt with during this turn. I have like one decent cast here. I guess it's gonna be the Bless? Yeah, I guess. I don't see anything like far superior, I guess. Mm hmm. Mm, that moral was horrible. There we go. Um, that's already an army. I got like a bunch of XP. Um, that's good. Good progress in this game so far. I could have also done the treasury. I'm getting some levels. Um, yeah. Very nice stuff. Men of the Mark, yes, indeed. Oh, we actually saw the opponent already here. Wait, was that a club? No, it was just a treasure chest. Um, he's sitting over here with the uh, only familiars, and he actually has like some um, a over here too. But he only reaches down on one seven, and that's not a very good timing whatsoever. Ooh, even more treasuries! Amazing. This is a pretty dreamy castle game for now, at least for this version. I mean, usually we'd want the pog here by this point, but in this version, it's kind of okay not to have. Mm-hmm. 
That is fine. Me. Okay, we'll have to kite a little bit. Not a problem. Mm-hmm. And we... Oof. Okay, fine. Then... Logistics immediately as well, okay. This delays, like, some of the things, but uh, for now I will... I'm certainly happy about the skill tree. Then, more dwarves over here, and I might be actually be doing these gorgons on this turn, which may be silly, but I really want the sword, I really want the box. And I'm expecting the boss to be small, and the fight to be easy because of that, basically. Um, it's also gonna be, like, pretty good XP. Gorgons have a lot of HP after all. Mm -hmm. uh, I also should be worried about the timer a little bit. Advanced scouting, of course, and yeah, we'll go for this one. Ooh, Pog. And also that uh, helmet over there too is kind of interesting. Then again, I'm not being back in this turn, and I kind of want to go for the site now. I might have to return here at a later point. And also this terrain is pretty much the best I could ask for. Yeah, there's only going to be very little surface room that they can have with me. Yeah, now all of them will just be going away, which is pretty funny. <laughs> um, yep. Moral is not too great, but um, I'll be able to deal with it just in time. Nice. Air Magician too. Alright. I wonder if I want to upgrade anything here. If only 1.7k to upgrade everything. Yeah, okay. We'll have some Royal Parrots instead. I'm building up for stables, and I'm going to be keeping my options open for the double build, because I have already quite a bit of tempo. That I might want to try and utilize in such a way, you know? Those the double build route. Ooh. Fancy box. Uh, five. Oh, this is the other box. So I already see both of them. That's good. Uh, 580, 480. So that would be one, two, three. Three diagonals. Um, that would be three. No, 420. And then 17. I cannot take the box, actually. Uh, by about 70 moves. Okay. 1, 2, 240, 240. Yes, okay, cool. Mm hmm. Okay, so my map is also like on point. Okay. I'm back to playing well. I'm going to 1k again. Easy. Mm hmm. I have both the school, so I don't need to worry about that. I'm going to be setting up the stables, of course, keeping the double build options open, as I said before, and. I kind of want to see my opponent's stats. I have the wood and the gold. Okay, he's uh, pretty bad in that way. Which is very endearing to me. Mm hmm. What is the hockey to Doggle the Grin? I don't know the exact hockey, but I summoned this menu. You see, like this menu over here. And I summoned this menu by either using my middle. I'm, you either click the scroll wheel in order to summon it, or you click F5 and then it summons at the top left. So there's two ways. And then the grid is just going to be the fourth button in this grid. Mm, I wonder if I go for that one right now. No, I think I go for the Pit Fiends and then the Pog over there. I'm not sure when I'm going to come back for that one, but... Ooh, hello. Moral aim. Not attacking my Cleric. Feels very nice that my Cleric is actually able to do fights. You know, like, almost like a Nightwood. Not quite, but almost. Mm hmm. Monks? Not quite. Ooh. Ooh! Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure this one. I mean, yeah, I'm very confident about this one. The game is not over, right? Oh, yeah, and the believers are like at 90%. I mean, makes sense, makes sense. I don't see myself losing this one either. Uh, for this one. Griffins have to be in spot 7 exactly, by the way. Well, 1 or 7. The point is that they're on the yet, because uh, angels can... I mean... We play optimally. If things happen, things happen, you know? <laughs> Ugly lady, you say? Interesting.
as long as they separate their damage and then attack multiple different styles, then the fight is gonna be okay against Ace Heads. Oh, uh, monks from here. Okay, amazing. And then I go ahead and stable up already. I'm fast, and my army is huge, my skill tree is really good, I can go for the library as well. Um, yeah, good stuff. More marketplaces will be welcome. And I'm still, like, kind of on track to double build, though. I'm really not sure if I'm gonna be able to do so in the end. Mm, yeah, for now, we'll just go here. Maybe through the stockpile, maybe I can reach the side count to him. All of that would be very great. I'm um, currently missing some marksmen though. I usually would be expecting to have like some more by this point. Mm -hmm. Um, earth magician good. Uh, stockpile gonna be pretty great too. We don't mind stacking some griffins here. I don't have any view spells, so I cannot see whether I'm gonna be like necessarily reaching the psych down. But I really would like DM. That will already make for an amazing turn. It's gonna be a shield cast actually, because we're blocking all of them, right? There's not a single one not blocked. Alright. Mm. Nice. Very nice actually. Oh beautiful. I don't know why I signed that key, but um, anyway. Mm, very, very good. And then I'll be, yeah, disciplined in my movement usage for the town. Say, nice. Um, amazing turn. If my turns are like that, then double build is gonna be happening like zero problems. Uh huh. That's monastery already. I'll want the maintenance here too. Uh, for now I can grab the ball holder though. That's kind of nice. And I'll be running back to Britannia and making fast. Good. Damn, I see the stopple over here that I want to deal. I see the pog here that I want to deal. So that might be my two objectives for the turn. I will then down the line get these two Nagabangs. That will be most of my gold that I need. Hopefully this stopple is not small. Because I am kind of relying on it to carry my resource game right now. Oh, it's back, see. Okay, well. It's also my coffin, apparently. Mm-hmm. Coconut! I wish you saw, thank you, thank you! Almost two years of managing dwarf population. Hmm. Question mark? Oh, this is gonna. Oh, this is gonna suck, huh? Interesting. I think we. Block and block here like this so the monks don't get. Yeah, yeah, that's way better. These guys will intervene here in time, so actually I'm supposed to be shooting. This one, interestingly enough, even if it's an Ekra. Ooh, okay, that's quite the privilege. This guy is getting blocked, but... Actually, I'll shoot this anyway. It's very nice to be able to deal with it. Mm -hmm. The angel's still fine. Mm-hmm. Oh, for a maxi? That, was, that, uh, that fight went swimmingly. Sometimes you almost die for a maxi on castle. I mean, at least weak to castle, you know? Um... Here, here, here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Then one star, of course. Angel can be towards the middle. Okay, this time no moral and yeah, easy. So wait, am I actually double building? Well, I think I might be. Ah, uh, back to Britannia. So both the paws are flagged. I already have like uh, both monasteries and almost enough resources. I'm only missing gold by this point. So in the coming two turns, I either I should be doing one of two things: trying to collect enough resource banks in order to be able to do just buy out the pogs, or I could be having like one turn setting up strength for the sake of the Utopia and then doing the Utopia. I don't know which one I want actually, which route. Oof. I'll see this boss and then decide. If it's Swordsman, then I will go for the Utopia route. 
If it's not, then I can still pivot to the uh, resource bank route. <clears throat> okay. Alright, then. Where can I build even more strength? There were bosses over here, like this one. I think that one is really, really good. And then maybe some pikemen to you, too. Can make things a little bit easier for me as well. And I will, I'm definitely upgrading Crusaders on this turn, by the way. Oh, that's only Pikemen. Interesting. Anyway, Pikemen are not a bad fit for the Utopia plan at all. I'll take those. Hmm. And I can take this one too. Amazing. Yes. I probably can do Utopia and... The Naga Banks on the next turn, which is amazing. I would like some offense too. Mm. Oh. <laughs> um, it's just that easy sometimes. Wait, but. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Mm hmm. I think I'm. Wait, is it so hard to trade right now? It kind of is. Do I have an Orphan? No, I don't. Oof. I would really love to Wait, but there's a hill for it. No, not along the way to the Utopia. Utopia is over here. There's also like an extra boss there too. I mean, I would like the Halberdiers to be like a singular power stack. I really think that would do a lot for me. I'll do that. So we go to Armitage. We upgrade the guard house over here. And bye bye. Make fast. We do have the Mage here, of course, because we have the Monastery, naturally. Um, maybe buying the Marketplace first would have been better, but it is what it is. My opponent's stats are still pathetic, and we're about to make the double build happen. We still need, like, two Sulfur in terms of resources, too, but that's gonna be okay. Nothing to upgrade over here, so by now, yeah, we go, uh, for this. Do I bring these guys? Yeah, I don't mind losing almost everything for the sake of this double build, because we're gonna be moving on to superior unit gameplay, you know? <laughs> I I think there too would be like the sweet spot between difficulty and reward for me right now. This fight is yucky. Um. Uh huh. Hmm. Um, okay, so it's tier 1 or tier 2. I think so far so good. These are the stacks that should get focused. This is the stack that should be. These are these stacks that should not be. Okay, tier 2, by the way. Wow. Um, Going really well. Anyway, it's Crusader Care Waiting Room. Moral? Then yeah, one shot. Nice. Um, very, very good. Oh my! Hmm, okay, nice. Uh, yeah, pretty happy about that one. Then I saw the PDDs, by the way, so that's gonna be... Uh, both of them immediately over here. And yeah, this is double build with a goose on week two. Well, week two. Not using any of the a goose gold on week two, but still. Wait, I don't have the mana for the second ID. Oops. Well, as long as I noticed before I actually make the mistake, I guess it's fine. Uh, then the rest of this, I mean, okay. Uh, Pog, and wait, I need more Sulfur. Um, sure, we can go to Inferno. Pick, pick. I could have also traded, by the way. And yeah, now we're double building. That is insane. And the rest of my army is like pretty good too. Meanwhile, my opponent's having like nothing. Jeez. Oh yeah, and of course I need to make a goose out of by now. Mm hmm Well then. <laughs> Realizing the mistake before making it. Yeah, for once in my life, right? Amazing. Feels good, man. I'm gonna be going... 
What do you got to Um... Naga Bank for now. If I could have like another stop on the Bime, then I could actually go break with Archangels instead. That'd be pretty nice. I'm okay with some loss here, just for the sake of timer efficiency, because um, timer will be a very big deal for me throughout the game. I, yeah, I can upgrade the rest of these, maybe buy out a little bit more. Mm hmm And it could be heading for the break, but I feel like I'm gonna farm the Bime a little bit. Uh, stockpile, stockpile, stockpile. I do not believe I see one right now that is gonna be accessible at all. Actually, wait. I might be mad, but... Okay, whoa. I mean... Hmm. 600, free diagonals, has gotta be... Uh, of course, 420. So I cannot get back if I were to go for that stockpile. I guess I'll do this and chill. I don't need that much mana for the next turn anyway. Actually, yeah, let's do it. So I'm just gonna DD here, DD here, next turn. Uh, then upgrade my Angels very soon, Teal. Mm hmm. All my spread offense is very nice. And then, yeah, Goose. And. Anything else? Not really. Uh, can I be air? No, I can't. Yeah, that's good. Mm hmm. So, uh, did I? Yeah, I already stabled up, and yeah, this fight is gonna be just fine. I believe that my one cast is gonna be shield, because there's no avoiding brawling here. By the way, the strain is once again just amazing. Oh, uh, I'm fighting the saw. Am I, like, just chilling on the soft side? Maybe. Oh my... These angels are just slayers. Yeah, this is just super efficient. Only a few halves lost, and I think I'm gonna be flying instead of um, DDing for the second time. Because I really want to stockpile, may as well do this fight, and yeah, I can do all of it. It's quite a bit better than the other version. Mm hmm. Uh, in that case, I can shield as well, because, uh, whoa, actually, I should stand back. I think I would have lost an angel if I didn't. Most certainly do not want to lose an angel right now. Hmm, this is fine. Um, minus half for no reason. Oh, uh, Water Magician is most certainly amazing right now. Cyclops, wow. Um, alright. Bring the Cyclops into the stockpile to prove their loyalty, of course, as natural. And yeah, we're kind of chilling by now. Uh, when Utopia will lead into Archangels, Arch Archangels will lead into like every single fight on auto combat, so that's gonna be like very, very time efficient of me. My opponent ended up getting some probably Utopia. He has a lot of Akriti Sultans, has very many familiars. Hmm. Actually, that's a little bit scary to me. Interesting. And anyway, we should be bleeding through these familiars as he goes through the game. Um, I think so. Opponent's gonna be getting a visit down by this point. I mean, at least he will certainly go for one. Um, yeah, he got a visit down. Does he have any knowledge yet? No, he doesn't. Anyway, no titans. Oh my god. And air town. Nice. And I'll just air shield and tank them, to be honest. They don't deal any damage to their shield. And I think that I should be... ...healing too. Oh, very nice. Oh my god, 30 cyclops by now. Mmm. Dude, what? Wait, that's a big cyclops boss attack by now. Uh, makes me low-key want to go archery. As on the last skill. I do kind of have the space for it, for now. Hmm. 
I don't want to use too much mana, because I might want to be staying up here for now. Opa! Yo! I already have like a bunch of middle army. Now I mean a bunch of middle army and an air Hmm. Yeah, I go for the Zootopia. Oh my, SOJ. Now I mean... Wow, what a feels day. Eh? Uh, boom. Boom. That's fine. Oh, uh, nothing. Oh, yeah, I'll take the flow. Is that a cornucopium? Full economy, by the way. And these bosses, still. Yeah, I'm just staying here next turn and collecting all these bosses. Then I can upgrade the Archangel, so I stop bleeding. Um, yeah. I did, not have the man I did not have the mana to be, so yeah, just do this and we're fine. Mm hmm. Uh, okay. Seems like he's not gonna be trying to stop the week for Archangel timing either. Uh, maybe he's giving up on that one. Yeah, no this down. He usually doesn't have this down, by the way. I noticed. Ooh. Speaking of the rag. Nah, that's a. I mean. Oh, that was not the Cyclops. I mean, not, not the Crusader. Oops. Anyhow, this is fine. Easy flight is easy, nonetheless. Oh my... 45! Bruh. Oh no. That's painful. That's very painful. I have exactly the right amount of mana for this. Well, exactly plus one, but... No. And I don't think this dies. Yeah, okay. Birds. I wonder if I actually have the moves for this library. I almost do. Interesting. Nah, I think I'll just farm around here for now. Or... Well, yeah, just farm around here, I guess. I guess that's a fine auto. Wait, well, oh no, I waited. I shouldn't have waited. Mm -hmm. Um, there we go. Okay, that's beautiful. And now I'll be able to do everything uh, without any losses. Nice. Not because they're more gold efficient. Um, he is heading for middle lane. I'm actually, yeah, gonna go like this after all. Because I should be able to find Utopias, gold, boxes, you know, all that good stuff. Um, we can take the fights, the Archangels to make them pretty trivial thing to handle. Um, the sword's kind of weird. I can actually delete the... What is this road? How am I on... I'm like on the side of the desert. I feel like I shouldn't be on the road. It feels a, it feels a little bit naughty that I'm on the road right now. Interesting. Anyway, I can use my Archangel smartly and should be having no losses. Boom. Another Tom Fire. I mean, I guess. And I will be in reach from the middle town. Most definitely so. And uh, I think I will be equipping the goose, but not the rest. Also, maybe some citadels. I should be building up the stronghold town too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yes, you're correct. Like, um, um, demon farming is a more time intensive strat. He is hiding in mid. Okay. I'm not attacking here, by the way. Oh, bah! Eight behemoths. Dude, imagine the difference between me and him getting it. And I was the one to get it, you know? Like, that's amazing. Mm hmm. Nice. 
Uh, sorry? Men of board. Ooh. I like the elixir, yeah. I do. And got a few more of these, and then we're just going back into this place, and maybe like another tavern, I can get some more income. I really need to start building up the this town. We're getting some citadel action. No, not crystal. Anything but crystal. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, there we go. Then, oh, okay, it's still not good enough. Interesting. Mm-hmm. He probably couldn't find Obelisk, so he let them die. <laughs> well, he didn't even try. Only got like one desert down so far, you know? I'm No, I'm not too interested in Nightmare Merchants for now. Maybe I should have been, though. I like permastats. Actually, I would diplo this, by the way. Ooh. Interesting. You know what? Wait, I was supposed to build behemoth. Nah, eh, whatever. I'm actually a lot more interested in the artifact, artifact merchants by now, though. Yeah. Oh, but I'm poor. Interesting. I need to get the one marketplace that I didn't have yet. I don't need to build anything on this turn though. Yeah, it's fine. What out? No, not this. No, not this. Ah, it's okay. I'll, I can just trade next turn. Um, certainly fine. And I should actually have my elixir equip and so on. Um, he's all the way over there right now. I can do art Merc, I can do one of these. Bye, bye. Uh, maybe not the other one. Actually, sure. I think I know exactly what I'm doing by this point. I'm um, sure. Let's go. Then I'll go to Britannia, I will upgrade some Angel, I will buy out some more, and then actually I will just go with Angels alone and um, into the side zone. Here we go. Um, This one is gonna be the choice. I can do Utopias for free, I'm gonna be like very fast around the map, and so on. Honestly, rather amazing. Ooh, I'm not a top immediately. Nice. Uh-huh. Uh, we wanna actually, yeah, assemble this, um, that's fine. Then, yeah, I do this library and then I do the town, I go, go for the arena deal. Plus you all above you, amazing. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, line shield, that's a good RT. He's pushing for the side zone, I believe. I think I'll actually take some offense here for now. Then I also really want to get myself some ore and oops, by the way. I missed in the town. Anyway, I can just do the behemoth crack, I can uh, do the castle, uh, I can do like whatever else I want, like this, and then. On my 2 I'm actually going to be using this, and then on my 1 I'm going to be using the Elixir, as well as the Scouting RP. And also Lion Shield, Lion Shield over here too then. Um, yeah, nice. Good. All very, very good. Another Bissell Slot RP over there, I can see. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, magic Ellie, eh? Keys? Oh, we have an Azur. We have some more stuff over here, and then we can make fast and be fine. Oh, uh, more marketplaces still. Should have had these like a little while ago, but better now than ever. Yes, indeed. I can do some more ore, then I can do the behemoth upgrade um, as well. 
Then my one of my more intriguing things is going to be the Behemoth Crack over here. And then I might be pushing towards middle control by the end of this week. So let's see. Uh, we of course pick up the all spells, then we can check out the position of the opponent. Um, he's currently uh, doing something in his mind, probably going for the other this down. Uh, which is fine for us. Um, Azuri Dragon on board, and then I think I want to pick up my Behemoths and everything. And then check out the Diplomacy. Yes! Okay, that is just beautiful. 11 more Behees. And then I guess I collect this and get out. This will also give me some more vision into the side zone in for the sake of Diplomacy, but it seems like we don't really see much more. Uh, now that we got the old spell box, we can actually sell all the casting into the... Merchants and yeah, I got myself some resources. Mhm. Mm um, that is very nice. Also opens up some uh, some item slots too, which I'm not really sure what to do with yet, but we'll have to figure that one out. Uh, yeah. Mhm. Mm uh, back to economy. Then I can honestly like already set up the attack towards the opponent after upgrading my behemoths. It is the mightiest. Strongest creature in Heroes of Mana Magic Frame. A uh, pretty grand title in it. Um, yeah. I might be rallying for the attack, basically, so I have to be pretty diligent in terms of doing this. So, that's what we are. Diligent in terms of doing this. And then, as I said, I want to go here right now. Another best of sub art game. Don't see any diplomacy, unfortunately. For now. Oh, chest piece, nice. So actually, I could already just go north and I probably would be able to attack in time. Well, no, because the rolls are screwed. Well, maybe though. Nah, uh, no, no, no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll need to steal his libraries too somehow. Because we Yeah, I think we're kinda of behind in stats. Um he is where? He's here. That's fine with me. So yeah. Hmm. That's pretty good. But I'm not doing this right now. I'm picking up the extra Cyclops over here though. That's pretty good. Well, actually no, probably birds. Hmm, or even less. Uh, these are different options for my casting, but I think I want the my option anyway. My in my endgame setup is gonna be like so I guess. Well, also about the Badger Courage. Oh my god, I need to move. Um, yeah, that's fine. I would be deploying these instead of the Ogres, I suppose. Then I'd be also deploying these. Yeah, that would be a lot of Behemoths then. Um, okay, so he's not a Penny Metal at all. Um, actually, I think Crusaders go. Because these guys have some longevity in this game, the other, the other ones don't. <laughs> I'll just pick up the elixir. Like, he can- oh, he can actually kill some of my army. He doesn't realize, okay. Surely flee. Um, okay. So, by now I want to start building up those Cyclops, and um, I guess I'll just explore a little bit. Eh, whatever. Wait, am I defending this? Oh, yeah, I am defending this, but um, I need to actually be defending this properly. I think. I think that he might be kind of faking me.
Why no castle D7? Because I already built it. I'm double built castle. Oh, you mean like here? Eh, I don't care about it too much. Hmm. Um, okay, so... I will have over here the behemoths. I will have like... Yeah, quite a few good things here. That's amazing. Nice fire orb. Thanks. I mean, what else do you want me to equip, you know? Nothing better exists out there for now for me, so... I'll take it. I'll take it. I sell zero libraries in the desert. Jeez. That's brutal. That's actually pretty brutal. Oh, GG? That's GG? Okay, I mean, my army was insane, I know, but... Wow, just GG. I think he had more stats there, so... Uh, I could have tried to play him. He also didn't see the elixir either. He's like moving somewhere here. Okay. Uh, interesting. Uh, huh. I guess you ran out of time. I mean, I mean, had like one for the demon steel. That wasn't demon farm them yet. Uh, I could have done that long term just by buying out some pit fiends, I guess. If he defended with this, I mean, I wonder if he would have done much. Let's compare the permanent stats actually by this point. Um, because might is quite a bit better. My casting is slightly better, very very slightly. So yeah, his permanent stats were, were definitely better. Um, what about the the libraries? Has he found any? One on the road here. Oh, uh, pretty good for him. And then that's it. Still though, more libraries with less explor exploration. Oh wait, no, he has this one too. Okay, and yeah, this exploration. That's fine. Mm-hmm. This one would have been very hard for me. No, actually, no. I would have went for the bees, like somewhere here, and then I may have continued on to this library. Then this one probably would have collected at some point too. And last one, we don't know where it was. Probably somewhere in the north. Mm-hmm. Did he get the library in this side zone? No, he didn't. There was an angel that over here, big one. Ooh. And more here, damn. Aw, oh, that's so sad for me to not get it. You know? We went all the way here, collected some boxes. Aw, oh, fairy cyclops. I guess that's what he got from the underground. Add some... Chaos Hydras. Um, his skill tree was Wisdom Fire. Yay. Um, okay. Anyway. That was the game. I put a main mistake when he plus for scaffold. Well, that too. I mean, that game was insanely strong for me. Mm -hmm. Lecture wins. Boom. Uh, dual 600 plus, all random. Mm -hmm. 